Hi kindergarten, it's Mrs. Merritt, and today we're going to do module 3, lesson 20. Our objective is I will apply more, so give more, and less, take away, to lengths. So we're going back to that um, length measurement objective today. So to start off, we're going to build one more and one less trains. So I want to build a train to five while counting the one more away. Do you think you could help me? Phew. So what number do we have to stop at? Five. I have one, two, three, four, Five. Great job. Now I want to dissemble the train or take it apart by counting the one less way. But I want to stop at number three. So do you think you could help me count backwards now? Great. So five, we have five to start with. Four. Three. Good job. Now look at my two trains. Here, I'm going to put this here. Which one has more cubes? Very good. The top train. So which one is longer? Very good. The top train is longer than the two cube train. Now let's build a train, a seven train. Okay, can you help me? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Awesome. Now, just like we do with the five train, we're going to disassemble, or disassemble, I'm sorry, by taking one away, and we're going to stop at the number two. So, what number are we going to stop at? Two. So, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Nice job. That was the perfect warm up for today because today we're going to be able to look at different sets of linking cubes and figure out which was longer than or shorter than by comparing their lengths. So I have a set of seven linking cubes here. Can you help me make another set next to it of three? Let's count up together. One, two, three. Which one is longer? Is our seven stick longer or our three stick longer? Our seven stick is longer than the three stick. So we can also say our three stick, what's the opposite of longer? Shorter is shorter than our seven stick. How would you know just by looking at the picture? If you didn't know it was a seven stick and a three stick, how would you know? Yeah, look it. You can just stop right here and look at all this extra. If I asked you to find the longest, you would say, well, look at all these extra cubes on top of this stick right here, right? Or if I asked you to find the shortest, you would say, this stick is much taller than this stick, so it's shorter. Great job. 
we're going to count the cubes on each side and then write the number underneath the cube. Can you help me with that? Great. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to write a 7. And then how many does this have? 1, 2, 3. Is that what I wanted to do? Here we go. So we have 7 here and we have 3 here. Which is more? The 7 has more. You're right, but how do you know? You could use a number line, very good. But if I didn't have a number line, what else could I use? My hands, right? So if I have three here, I know I have to count up higher to seven, right? So three, four, five, six, seven. I could count up and figure out that seven is bigger than three. I could also look at this picture right here. And if I needed to, I could draw a line to each cube. One, two, three. And then do I have any more cubes over here? No, I don't. So I could count how many more cubes I have on my seven stick. Can you go ahead and do that for me? One, two, three, four. So my seven stick is four cubes longer than my three stick. Or I could say my three stick is four cubes shorter than my seven stick. Okay, so we're going to play a quick game. We are going to roll the dice or the die and make a stick using the same number of cubes as the dot on our die, die shows. Then we're going to roll the die again, and we're going to compare the sticks, the cute lengths of the cube sticks. We're going to figure out which one's longer, which has more, how many more the taller one has, which has less. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to make a six stick for us. One. Two, three, four, five, six. And you know what? Since our cubes aren't sticking together so well, let's pause and let's both go get a or something to write on and something to write with. Go ahead, pause me, and that's how we'll play our game today. Okay, I think this will work much better for us. So, I want you to draw six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Now let's roll the dice again. We got one, two, three. One, two, three. Which row of circles is longer? This top one, this one that has the six, is longer. Now, to figure out by how many, we can match our top row of circles to our bottom row. Each circle it's a match. So looking at our picture, how many more do I have in my longer circle chain? Let's see. One, two, three. So we know six is bigger than three. So to make the bottom chain of circles the same as the top chain, I would need to add three more circles. But the top row is longer than the bottom row, row by three circles. Okay, so six is bigger than three. 
let's do this two more times. Okay, we have one, so let's draw one triangle. And then what did we get? Oh, a five. Okay, so we'll draw five more triangles below it. One, two, three, four, five. Look at which row of triangles is longer, which has more. This row right here, you're right, the second row. How many more triangles are in the second row, the bottom row, than there are in the first row? Well, we can draw our line to match our triangles up together. And then I want you to count and figure out how many more triangles are in that bottom row that don't have any triangles. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So in the bottom row, there are four more triangles than our top row, making our bottom row longer or has more. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four. I want you to draw four squares. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we'll roll the die again. And now this time we got six. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Well, look at. Now I'm gonna match mine together. Two, three, four. Which row has more, my top row or my bottom row? My bottom row has more squares. How many more squares are in the bottom row? One, two. Very, very good. I am so proud of you. So, I am so glad we got to draw some shapes together. That was super fun. But I appreciate your flexibility because this thing was much more fun than having you watch me move the cubes on the screen. Okay? So, we did this because we could still tell which had more and which had less. Now, our pictures may not be super accurate because the cubes, they weren't stacking up on top of each other and I knew that would affect my accuracy. But we were still able to apply the words more and less when we talked about this. We figured out which rows had more, which rows had less, how many more we would need for the top row to match the bottom row, or for the bottom row to match the top row, whichever row had more. We figured out how to um, see if there was a match for everything. Okay? So you guys did an awesome job applying the terms more and less when looking at length. And I am very proud of you. For your exit t t ticket today, it is a Google form. You are going to be doing something similar to what we did right on here. You're going to figure out which is longer and by how much longer that row of objects is or how many more um, objects you would need to make them the same. I cannot wait to see your exit tickets and I look forward to learning more about more and less with you tomorrow. Have a great day.